So hi this is Lou, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing another Christmas themed card design. Um, I don't know what material I'm going to be using and I don't know quite what the theme is. I've selected 12 at random and they're in this little pot. I've done five of them so far and today I'm going to do number six. So let's find out what we're going to do today. Today we're making a wreath. So I've decided to do my wreath in gouache and I've got some hot press watercolour paper. I've got some uh, fairly cheap brushes actually. I found these are better for gouache than my sable haired brushes because they don't pick up quite so much of the paint when, uh, when I'm using them. So I actually found these a lot better. So uh, that's a good saving. I've got a little liner brush, which I'm, I got a few weeks ago and I'm really loving. I've got a couple of jars of water, some paper towel, and then I've got one of these cheap kind of throwaway palettes. And it's got all the colours on that I was using last time. I'm going to use the same colours, so I'm just using the same palette. It's got a little bit of paper stuck to it there. We'll get rid of that. And then the paints that I'm using, I bought this set uh, of designers, gouache from Winter and Newton, and it's got um, all the primaries in and then like black and white and I think it had yellow ochre as well um, and I had a good play with it and then I went out and bought a couple of extra colours to supplement it. And then I've got a pencil and I'm just going to do a very brief circle. Uh, find something to draw around, that's the easiest way. And then, like I always do, I just use my eraser and take away just the, the very dark bits of pencil. I'm not taping my paper down because I'm not planning on using a lot of water all over the surface and it'll be really helpful for me if I'm drawing a wreath to be able to turn the paper. So I'm going to start by mixing up a couple of different greens and um, yeah, and then painting some nice foliage and leaves on here. I can reactivate the paint that's on the palette that I've already mixed up. So I'm mixing some of the indigo with some of the yellow ochre to get me a nice bluey green colour. Nice dark deep greeny blue. And then around my wreath I'm going to start painting some, um, some leaves. I think I've done I've done a fair bit of holly and mistletoe and, and that kind of thing in the last uh, couple of weeks so I think I might just do um, some stems with little leaves on and then some slightly bigger leaves as well. And I'm just going to use the circle as a guide. I think that was very good. Never mind. I can cover it up later. Let's do another one here. And if you're doing a wreath, it's helpful if all of your foliage goes in the same direction. So I'm making all of mine go anti-clockwise. And then I think it looks better with odd numbers, so 
I'll just see if I can squeeze another one in there. wonky but I've been following the circle sometimes going on the inside and some on the outside and if I do that again with the next kind of layer of stuff then it should even itself out. For my next colour I'm mixing up a nice sagey green with a mix of uh, some permanent green middle, uh, a little bit of yellow ochre and some permanent white. This is still a bit much. I can add in a little bit of brown, and my brown I think is burnt umber. Yeah, that just neutralizes it a little bit because the brown has got a lot of red in it, and red is opposite to green. So, the uh, brown adding brown into your green just takes the vibrancy out of it a little bit. width on the sides and uh, we need a little something to fill that gap there and that wasn't quite dry and I've messed it up but never mind we'll paint over it with something so I think this needs to look a little bit more festive so I'm going to mix up some red so this here is just some of my Venetian red and I'm going to put some here just add a tiny bit of white into it and then let's make some clusters of berries. So obviously we're going to need some down here. I think I'll an extra leaf on this one here before we go any further. And maybe we bring this out here. And a little gap in here. So I think this needs a third type of leaf, so I'm going to mix up kind of bluey grey colour. So again, the indigo blue. Some burnt umber to make it grey. And then a fair bit of white. I think this could do with being A little more greeny grey, so let's try a little bit of the, oh, the yellow ochre, that's quite nice in there. Right, let's try this. And then I want just some little leaves, kind of. Oh, I can't get this brush to work right. Yes, blame the tools, that's right. Just want some little leaves poking out from behind the berries. Fill that space in there. Mm -hmm. 
for some of these I am going in the opposite direction to the rest of the wreath. Just because that makes more sense with those particular yeah, with these particular leaves. So they're like a cluster and they're pointing out from the cluster. fleshing out so I think another couple of little clusters of berries and leaves would really help. some more of these little branches with the rounded leaves on. And that's looking quite nice and full now. I want to add a little bit more detail on here because it's looking quite flat, uh, which gouache does, um, but if I add a little bit of dimension and some uh, details on some of the leaves and the berries then I think it'll kind of come to life a bit more. So now I'm going to use my little liner brush and add some detail. So for each of the uh, berries I'm going to add a little shadow area just with a little bit of a darker red. So just to the bottom left. And where I've drawn little clusters of berries that all join together like this, this will help to differentiate between them. Now I'm going to use a slightly lighter kind of cyan blue and just add in a little vein on each of these blue leaves. This is where turning the paper is especially helpful. And then I'm going to do the same on these little leaves, but I'm going to outline them as well, just to make them stand out a bit. do the same on the green but I'm going to make a darker green. One last thing and that is just a little highlight on each of the berries at the top right make them look nice and shiny, like they're reflecting the light. And there we go, there's my winter berry wreath. 
So here's my completed berry wreath. I really hope that you enjoyed watching that. I really enjoyed painting this. I didn't at the start. It wasn't going very well and then it all seemed to come together towards the end. So if you make one of these, if you make any art inspired by one of my videos, I'd love to see it. So you can always post it on Instagram. You can tag me at Lou Rachel Davis, and I love to see what you make. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, then please do subscribe. Uh, I've got a few more Christmas videos coming up before, well, before Christmas. And then I've got some exciting plans for 2021. So I'd love to see you in a future video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.